All done by Biden. Carried out by Reagan. Right. Donald Trump may have physically been in Wildwood, New Jersey for this speech that he gave on Saturday, but it's unclear where his mind was. Multiple serious cognitive moments that just made you wonder just how unwell this individual is. Here, Donald Trump in this speech in Wildwood, New Jersey, spent a considerable amount of time talking about someone who he called the late, great Hannibal Lecter. And then he goes on to talk about Hannibal Lecter in this speech, which ostensibly is supposed to be, what, a campaign speech here? Watch this clip. Silence of the Lamb. Has anyone ever seen the Silence of the Lamb? The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. He oftentimes would have a friend for dinner. Remember the last scene? Excuse me, I'm about to have a friend for dinner as this poor doctor walked by. I'm about to have a friend for dinner, but Hannibal Lecter, congratulations. The late, great Hannibal Lecter, we have people that are being released into our country that we don't want in our country. Then Donald Trump just started slurring his words. Play the clip. All done by Biden. Carried out by Reagan. That's right. He made some comment about the Republican Party doing this and giving it money. Tell me if you know what he's talking about here. Play this clip. If you can, do whatever you can for the Republican Party because what they do is they raise so much money through different groups that are not groups that are on our side. Then he made some comment about the nation belonging or being, again, I have no clue what he's talking about. Tell me if you do. Play this clip. But no matter how hateful and corrupt the communists and criminals we're fighting against may be, you must never forget this nation does not belong to this. This nation doesn't belong to them. This nation belongs to you know who? You. It belongs. Then he confuses Beijing with Taiwan. And here you'll say he says that the ships are circling around Beijing. Here, play this clip. If you look at President, you take a look at Xi, President Xi of China, talking about Beijing. Now, they've got ships circling, they have planes, but they never were doing anything. President. He then says that liberal singers and celebrities support him, like Bruce Springsteen, which is just not true, but this is what he's talking about. Play the clip. I love these Saturday evenings. Is there anything better than a Trump rally? If some of these wackos came along, you know, these liberal singers said, actually vote for me. You know, they all vote for me. They say, oh, Trump, I don't know. You know, like Bruce Springsteen. We have a much bigger crowd than Bruce Springsteen, right? Much bigger. He then talks about kids occupying schools and how that's a problem. Play this clip. It's happening with your schools. Kids are occupying your schools. They're taking... Speaking of schools... He says that if he were in office, he would not provide any federal funding for schools that have vaccine mandates. So I guess let's bring what back polio and other like serious illnesses to schools. Is that what they're saying? Here, play this clip. I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate. As part of these bizarre and frankly scary at times cognitive moments, Donald Trump confuses uh, former President Jimmy Carter with Jimmy Connors and then just continues his speech. Jimmy Connors, Jimmy Carter. Here, play this clip. We're going to evict this man, the worst president by far. Jimmy Connors is the, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Connors is good. He's also happy. Jimmy is a very happy man, both of them, because you know what? They want him out. Jimmy Carter had a bad reputation. Right now, he is considered a totally brilliant president by comparison. Right now, he is a totally brilliant president by comparison to Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Donald Trump then brags that he's expanding the electoral map to include New Jersey and that he thinks that he's making a play for New Jersey. Trump lost New Jersey by 16 points in 2020. But do you, Donald, go campaign in New Jersey and the pro-democracy movement will focus on Arizona. Play this clip. 
As you can see today, we're expanding the electoral map because we are going to officially play in the state of New Jersey. We're going to win the state of New Jersey. Got a great group of people with us, an incredible group of people. During his speech, he then calls the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, Fat Alvin. Play the clip. Carried out by Red. That's right, all, all being done by him. Carried out by radical Democrat district attorney. You know who he is? Fat Alvin. What? Corrupt guy. Then he goes on to attack NATO. Play the clip. And one of them stood up and said, sir, do you mean to tell me that if I'm attacked in this very big country, if I'm attacked as a country by Russia, you will not defend me. I say, are you delinquent? He said, well, let's say I was. I said, if you're delinquent, I would not protect you. And you then he says that people inside our country are more dangerous than Russia. Play the clip. And they're going to lose our country. I always talk about we have enemies on the outside and we have enemies from within. The enemies from within are more dangerous to me than the enemies on the outside. Russia and China, we can handle. But these lunatics within our government that are going to destroy our country and probably want to, we have to get it stopped. He then attacks the United Auto Workers. Play the clip. And the United Auto Workers, who, you know, I'm leading in Michigan by a lot because they're run by an incompetent man that endorsed Crooked Joe Biden. He then attacks Hillary Clinton. He's obsessed with Hillary Clinton. Play the clip. In Banana Republic. We never did it here. I could have pressed Hillary a lot harder. You know, she broke up her phone. She broke him up. She acid washed him. Bit bleach, right? Bit bleach. Nobody even knows what it is so expensive. He then says that the current job numbers under President Biden are all fake and are all rigged because they're too good to be true, he says, and that they're all fake and rigged. Play the clip. People are hearing, oh, our economy, his job numbers are fake. They're totally fake. They're fixed numbers. They're rigged numbers. Everything about them are rigged from the elections to the economy, everything. And by the way, the one thing that's doing well is the stock market. You know why it's doing well? Because I'm leading in every single poll and people think we're going to win. And the stock market, and it's been written about by Scott, some of the great people, they're writing that. If we ever lost, if this election wasn't won by us, you'd see something like in 1929. The stock market's only doing well because everyone thinks we're going to win. We had a great stock market. But it's going up because we're leading in all the polls. If bad polls start coming up, we don't want to let that happen. You know, they're trying to rig the vote through this, this crap they're doing, but it's backfired. Never, nobody's ever seen anything like it. I and as all of this is going on, you have all of these like MAGA influencers doing their latest scam. You know how they do the bodega scam that we uncovered here, where it was the New York Young Republicans at this Harlem bodega and they tried to act like, Oh, look at all these supporters at the bodega. Or when Donald Trump showed up at the Chick-fil-A and then he got a hug by a woman and then they were like, look, black women support Donald Trump. He's at a Chick-fil-A. Turns out she works for Candace Owens and she uh, is an intern in the Republican Party and she works for Charlie Kirk and she's full-blown MAGA. Or when Donald Trump gave a speech in Wisconsin and brought somebody on stage and said, look, you know, her business was thriving while I was in office and while President Biden's been in office, now she's suffering. Turns out that she first opened up her business in 2023 as a result of policies by President Biden. She never even had a business while Trump was in office and she had declared bankruptcy three times before that in the last decade. She attacked people on government assistance and then it turns out that she was on government assistance. Those are all the good. So this scam was that there were 80,000 people, they were saying, that were there in New Jersey at this Wildwood event. There was not uh, maybe a few thousand people at this event. And while Donald Trump was ranting and raving like a lunatic with all of the things I just showed you, these people were walking out on him while he was talking. Here, take a look at this one as people were just quite literally running away. His own supporters leaving. Here, play this clip. A tender-hearted woman's for half-frozen snake. 
His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Poor thing, she sighed. Here's just one more shot of his own supporters leaving so you can see for yourself. Play this clip. Corrupt guy. He's a corrupt and really a corrupt, a corrupt district attorney who's allowed tribe of the city to go totally unchecked. They had the other day, they had like 20 district attorneys. And here's the thing too, as I showed you all of those clips, this is supposed to be a campaign event where you're supposed to talk about, like, I don't want to normalize this behavior. You're supposed to talk about what is it that you're going to do for the American people? Somehow Donald Trump's talking about Hannibal Lecter, the late great Hannibal Lecter. What are you going to do for the American people? Donald Trump attacking NATO. What are you going to do for the American people? Donald Trump just making up that liberal singers support him. What are you going to do for the American people? Donald Trump calling the Manhattan District Attorney Fat Alvin. What are you going to do for the American people? Donald Trump talking about what reintroducing polio into schools. What are you going to do for the American people? Donald Trump talking about um, you know, Donald Trump slurring his words and confusing Jimmy Carter with Jimmy Connors and Jimmy Con what, what are you going to do for the American people? Look, you see all of that in Trump's speech. Like, let me show you. This was the recent speech that President Biden gave. And look, it may not be WWE cosplay fascism like Trump, but it's a normal speech. And I don't know about you, but I want normalcy. Here, play this clip. Our country's proud manufacturing legacy. Well, we had infrastructure day every, every week, every week for four years. Didn't build a damn thing. <laughs> he and the administration promised a $10 billion investment by Foxconn to build a new manufacturing complex, create 13,000 new jobs. In fact, he came here with your senator, Ron Johnson, literally holding a golden shovel, promising to build the eighth wonder of the world. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look what happened. They dug a hole with those golden shovels, and then they fell into it. <laughs> Look, they didn't shovel other dirt. They did shovel some dirt. 100 homes were, bo were bulldozed. They wasted hundreds of millions of dollars, your state and local tax dollars, to promise a project that never happened. Foxconn turned out to be just that, a con. Go figure. Well, anyway, tell me what you think. Very bizarre event. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Have a wonderful day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.